So, hi Jane. Hi Christine. We're, uh, hi. We're, we're here looking at um, our well, well over up Park Wildlife recording form that we've decided to set up with the fr Friends of Well Brook Park right. to just record, start to record some of the sort of very basic wildlife, the regular sort of wildlife that you might get or you might find yeah. in the... And it's designed so that um, it's to be used by people who've got very, very limited knowledge of um, wildlife. Yeah, which is so, ideal, because uh, I think Otherwise, it would put people off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we've what we've done, and I know I'm not looking from page one through, but what we've done, we've actually um, put together a series of um, wildflowers, butterflies, etc., etc., and we've put actual uh, indicators of the what the um, species are. Yeah. So what we're going to plan to do. Um, in a few minutes is uh, actually go and have a have a walk round and see what we can find of these ones. Once we've found them, what we've also got, which is really useful, is a map of the uh, park and the surrounding areas, which are uh, set out into grid squares. Mm. So, so you know, you can... easy, easy to use. You don't need any mm. specialist knowledge to no. use that no. it's just common sense just common sense, sense yeah. yeah yeah and all you need to do is pick up the last four digits of each of the uh, squares and then on the other side of the page and this has been designed so that you just write in the four digits yes and then whatever species right. is seen and then simple. any additional yeah. simple so simple and what um, we can do is, as well, is these ones can just be printed out. Yeah. So we can have loads and loads of those to be printed mm. out, and then you know people can have a pack of uh, pack of the other information, yeah. and then they just take those out and look for them, look for whatever they find. Yeah. So I mean, if they're here volunteering or they've come up for the walk on a Sunday, they can bring it yeah. with them and just yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. And like, like you were doing earlier, we were looking at the bees on the on the plants. You know, you're there doing your volunteer, you know, volunteering. You're doing a bit of gardening. You can think, oh, well, I'm in, I'm in square seven eight two nine, mm. square seven eight two nine. Oh, I've seen yeah. a bumblebee, a mm. honeybee, and whatever, and then just write it in. Yeah. There and it's as it's as simple, and simple and straightforward yeah. as mm. you know as as that. And we've designed it like that so that anybody can sort of pick it up. Yeah, which is, which is the best thing to do because I think mm. there are a few people perhaps a little bit intimidated by the mm. word science and collecting <laughs> data and things. <laughs> more, more technical, more technical <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and. You know, I mean, if people are feeling a bit more confident than just looking for the flowers or the butterflies, etc., that we've that we've recorded, mm. that we've got other the pictures on here. You know, we've got, and I know the group have got um, a series of these um, field studies council mm. guys. I don't know if you've I've, seen I've this, had a look at them. They are yeah. lovely Visit, to. Yeah. Straight really, forward. really straightforward yeah. to, to look at, and they cover loads and loads of stuff. And you know, you were saying the other day that you found a, what was it, a, a peacock, Pe peacock, a peacock butterfly. Yep. So, mm. you know, um, Sheila's got those in the, you know, in the little yeah. Um, shed. Yeah. Um, you know, so again, they can be taken out or borrowed mm. or whatever, and you know, used. As a supplement to these yes, ones, yeah. these ones here. Well, yes, because I'm sure there'll be people like myself mm. who aren't familiar with a lot of the wildflowers who would need just a quick. Oh, it you mm. know it looks like that. It looks like that. Yeah. So I, yeah, yeah. I can ha yeah. Because because the the good thing about this is and and this one is uh, I think it's the the woodland one, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. But it it gives it you in different colours. Mm. So you've got yellow flowers, white flowers, blue flowers, and red, yeah. pinky flowers. Yeah. 
<laughs> so you've got a first you've got a first start off there. We can have a look at some of that. You know, you've got a first start yeah. off there and they think, Oh, you know, it looks more like, you know, that one with which is the red campion. Mm. So you can look on here and find where the red campion one is and then go, Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. You know, and uh, you can then, you know, write it on your write it on the list. Yeah. Excellent. So we just moved a little bit further down into the park and as you see here, if we have, we have a look, mm. you notice that there's just that bit, which is just that bit darker green yeah. Yeah. and they seem to have left it just that little bit and you see they've just seem to have just left it just that little bit longer yes. in the grass mm. and then you look here and you can see We've got there's some buttercups, there's and, some buttercups daisies. and there's some daisies. So we can record that. Now, first of all, we've got to decide exactly where we are. So if you have a look here, the hole's up there. So that's the hole yeah. there. And then the pond is just over to our, over my shoulder. So I reckon that we're here. Yes. In that. Yeah. In that one, which is. Get my glasses on. Eight eight. Check that. Eight eight two eight. Yeah. Yeah. Eight eight two eight. So we're in grid reference. Eight eight two eight. And then whatever we've got in that grid reference, we can write the species on. So we've got. Buttercup. Buttercup. And we're doing this without looking at the buttercup and daisy. Based on the flowers that we based, can see. Yeah, based on the flowers that we can see. And we've also got those as two of our flowers to record. So we've got daisy and we've got buttercup. Yeah. So we've got both of those. So there's another sort of ready reckoner. Yeah. of the things there. So it's no recording how much, it's just, just identifying... The, yeah, presence or absence, yeah. well, not, or not even absence, but just presence. Yeah. This is what we can see. And it's also, this is what is in flower. Yeah. So you don't have to go crawling about on your hands and knees looking for what the shape of the leaves, mm. leaf or anything like that is, unless you want to look at, you know, with some of the other ones you yes. might want to do that but you know you can tell that's a daisy we've got the daisy there and that's your buttercup yeah so we've got two two species already and then when we start doing the um, recording what we've also got to do is say who's doing the recording and what the date the date is so the date's the, the 15th, 15th of august 15th of august 22 and it's I just put our initials so it's Christine yeah. and Jane yeah. and then we need a contact email right. and we do we're doing that um, well I'll come on to what we're doing all that mm. with more when we look at the um, online yeah. recording form mm. so we'll talk about that a little bit later but we just need the contact right. email so that if you spot anything highly unusual or different or whatever mm. then we've got that as a record and it would yeah it would it could possibly if somebody needs to come else out and have yeah. a look at it yeah they could then they narrow down, down the location, location yeah a bit yeah yeah and then they can say oh yeah well it was there or it was there or whatever so yeah we've got daisy well, quite a few daisies, haven't yes. we? And so there seems to be some, some clo clover. Clover. Yeah. 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 I'll write clover. I'll write clover down. Although we d obviously it's not in flower, so mm. we don't. But we know. We know enough to know that it's clover, and then I'll put spur at the side of it, which just means clover species. Mm. We don't know yeah. what it is. So can we find any other? Anything else? There's a, I was going to say, there's that's a tiny little moth that's just flown over there. It was about was it, so big. It could, yeah, yeah. Could be one of those like day grass moths or something, mm. but we'll not put that in because we don't. 
anything that we not quite really. Now I don't think this. Uh, can't see anything else in flower. No, no, nothing flowering now. No. Oh. Oh, what's that? We can have a look over there, can't we? Right. That yes. Yeah. It's there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's a tiny little. Tiny I'm sure little. It's a moth, is it? It is a moth. Yeah. yeah. A little white. Oh, that's lovely, that, yeah. Mm. But we're not sure what it is. So what um, you can do is we can actually photograph it. Right. And then I can send that photograph to the expert. Yeah. And then... To hopefully identify then it. Hopefully yeah. we'll be able to so again, identify it. So again, don't need any knowledge. You don't can need send any, it to yeah. people who yeah, in the know. In the know. <laughs> so we've just walked a little bit further up from uh, where we where we spotted the moth mm -hmm. and this area is right at the edge of um, you know like the manicured uh, grassy area and you were just saying that they, they cleared it all uh, yeah, they cleared the, it the all down corners. Um, with the corners because of it was all getting leggy and mm -hmm. overgrown and everything so you can see just by doing that that you know these these already these different things that are sprouting you know sprouting yeah. up and what we need to um, check because we've just walked that little bit further up but it's always um, good to sort of check that we're still on the right square so I think we're still on that square we know we're on this square probably because we know we'd be falling into the falling river, down the, the river yeah. yeah and we've not come far enough up where we parallel to the um, house, the house. Yeah. So we know we're still there. We're probably a bit, a bit further up mm. here. So just looking at what we can find here, um, again, you know, people, if they're not sure about it, we've got these, the Field Studies Council um, guides. So some of this will be in, will be in here. So we've got these ones, and this is, this is where, we were talking about, you see this, the, these this blue, yeah, the blue flowers there. Yeah. And I'm looking at it and it's actually, it's, it's self-heal. It's self-heal, yeah. it's not, it's not um, bugle. Mm. Which I think it comes, uh, it, that comes earlier in the, in the year. Right. But it's this, it's self-heal, which is a nice one to get <coughs> with the clumps. Right. So I'll put that, I'll put that on my, on the list. And then the other one we looked, yeah, and they're, um, they're very prickly, mm. but they, uh, and they've got those, that yellow, like a dandelion-y sort of, bit yes. of a dandelion-y, but they're south thistles, right. those there. And then you've got, you're already getting the, uh, those ones there, which are the, uh, the seed pods for the wood havens. So I'll write that on. I mean, they're, they're not on our, our basic list, mm. but, um, you know, the ones that if you think, oh, that's interesting, what is it? Yeah. And again, if, if you're not sure, take a photograph mm. and submit yeah, so that. Yeah, submit that and then we can... Because yeah. ho possibly harder to identify because it's not actually got the flowers on at yeah. this time of year. Yeah, yeah. So now we've moved up to uh, just outside the hall. So we've moved into the next square oh, yeah. over. So we're now on 7829. Yep. So to start the recording again, I just put on 7829. Uh, seven, and we've got dandelion, which is one of our pictures on our, in our little recording. Yep. Form. So we've got dandelion. And we've got Daisy again yeah. there. So is there anything else? So now we've walked a little bit down from the um, from the hall. Yeah. So we've come to have a look at another uh, another area that's yeah. just that little bit just that little bit different. So again, we've got to orient ourselves onto mm -hmm. where we are. So we know the halls at the back. We've just come down where the um, top pond. And then we're just here with the uh, yeah. lower pond. 
So we're on 7828. Eight. Right. So if I write 7828 on my form in anticipation, right. so we'll have a look what we can uh, see. So we've got, uh, we've got daisy that are in flower. Have we got anything else that we can the, immediately? The flower, some more oh, buttercup. The oh, there's another buttercup. buttercup. Yeah, and there's another buttercup. Mm -hmm. So we've got buttercup. <laughs> so, I mean, what you can see, uh, you can see, can't you, that you know, you've got lots of daisies, but they are so close to the ground. Yeah. It's yes. really, really dried up, hasn't mm. it, with all of this? It's just a question of just sort of taking a slow stroll as you're going along and then seeing anything that you might be able to, you know, might be able to spot. So again, we've got more some daisy. more daisies. But then we've also got, and we can record these as well, we've got uh, blackberries or bramble. So we can record, we'll put the bramble on because we haven't got brambles on. Mm. And, you know, we've got them, some of them are in flower and obviously some of them are just setting their, just setting their fruit. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so the thing is, we just need to be keeping our eye out. We probably won't find much here because we're under some of the um, pine trees, the conifers. But you never you never know what you might, you know, what you might turn yeah, so up. Eyes peeled. And if, yeah, and if we know here, we've got mostly, it is sort of brambles mm. and things. But then you've got, you know, it might be worth us, might be worth us having a look in the little ditch area yeah. in a minute. Mm. But then also, we can poke our nose over the fence. fence yeah. The green line it's, yeah, it's is the edge of the park. park. So we've just got that bit of a square there. So, you know, there's nothing to stop us. I mean, we might want to make a note, um, you know, on our observations, because we've got that additional records and observations. Yeah, so we can say 7828, maybe put a thing there and then go B and that's the field mm. so that and then we just out, so we know that it's outside, outside the boundary of yeah. the park but we can still it's still worth recording and we've still got you know this yeah ubiquitous daisies mm. and stuff but then you look over here i mean it's really sort of parched very you know <laughs> the area there you've got a bit more you know there's obviously a wet wet flush mm. area we're looking, you know, we, we're on the boundary of the park, but because we've got the um, map with the square, mm. we can still record what's outside. We can, obviously, we can't climb over the fence, but we can still look at what we've got. But unfortunately, because the weather's been so dry, most of it is really sort of parched, so there's not much in the way of, um, of flowers. No. At the minute, I mean, we've got a few bits. I think that's that's uh, ragwort that you can just the see yellow. the yellow yeah. flower, just in the, and then you can see where there has been um, quite a bit of uh, thistle and uh, I think some of it's um, the willow herb. Yeah. Well, actually, you've still got the willow herb in flower. I think with some of it over, which doesn't sound very exciting, but I mean, one of one of the things is is that if this stuff growing here and it's wind it, it, i would say the the seeds will blow yeah particularly that willow herb and the thistles mm. the seeds will blow blowing, in, won't they? yeah yeah and there's probably some other more interesting stuff mm. if we went and had a bit of a delve in there because you can see that you know there's like you've got the rushes and stuff mm. going in there so you know you could get some of that coming and migrating into the you know into the um park yeah. mm. so we've now come across from the um, pine area mm. we're still on the if you look on the map we're still on that same the same grid, grid reference. reference so but we're now round the pond mm. so we can start looking at what we've got on the pond and the, the first thing that I notice and we haven't got this on the um, recording sheet, but I might actually put it on. Is we've got molehills. Molehills, yeah. 
and we do get molehills quite a lot, don't we, around yes, the park. Yeah, so that's covered. worth actually recording mm. as molehill because you know that shows you that there's still some good you know earthworms and whatever for the moles yeah. to munch on. Mm. So and we can record that and then looking on the pond haven't got much in the way of well we've got some vegetation which is really good but we've got mallard which yes. is one of that so yeah. we've got one two this yeah two of them four yeah. three four four five, and then five. Oh yeah there's one, one in there four. yeah yeah so we've got mallard and if we want to put we can put mallard times five yeah which is nice and and they're all adults as well. and then by the side again we've not got some that are on the um, on our sheet, mm. other than we've got hogweed, which is the one the, the tall. just there, the tall yeah. one, with the wider mm. sort of the big leaves and the the big um, seed heads yeah. on there. So we'll put hogweed. We've and is hogweed. that a different sort of thistle to the one we saw previously? It's this taller. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the one that we saw previously was was what we call South Thistle, mm. which is from the dandelion, it's a bit like a dandelion type family. Mm. Whereas that's more of a, that's a creeping thistle. Yes. So we can put that on. And then we've got the skunk cabbage. And we've got some um, dock. dock as well. Oh, and a, um, I think it was a crow that just flew, flew across. But I can't. Sort of just I should take your work for it, I didn't spot that. <laughs> 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 oh, look, the dragonfly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's going. Um, that looks like a quite a big, a big greeny blue one. So it could be, it could even be an emperor because it was really chunky. Mm but we need to sort of see it. And as usual, they just whiz off and you can't see. Rest somewhere out <laughs> of sight. <laughs> yeah, they've gone out of sight, yeah. so. <laughs> right, we now come up to the upper, or the, the larger of the upper um, the ponds, which if you look on the grid, this is a, an interesting one, because if you look on the actual grid square, it looks half of the pond is in one grid square, the other half is in another grid square. What I would suggest is if you are recording in that one, you pick either one or the other of the grid squares. So I would pick for recording in here, I would pick 7829, which we've got some of the other things on 7829 and that's fine. And then we come when we have a look at the pond so that you're not trying to sort of by rule of rule of eye or anything think right you know it's halfway across the pond we're in this square the other half is in is in the other square cuz that's um going to be a bit of a of a challenge and it also means that you're distinguishing it from the lower pond as well which you could record all in 7828 so that would be my um, my suggestion for this one. We have got the little tiny ponds further up, but I think they're small enough not to bother, that really sort of make much. And then if you, if you really do want to, you can always put, um, like I have with this one, you can always put A, B, C, and then just annotate it. Because we have got the additional records an observations bit, so you can actually say, you know, um, these were recorded in point A, these were recorded in point B. It, it just makes it simpler that way. So having a quick scan over, there's nothing really that uh, is moving at the minute.